hello my dear students good morning to all of you uh, as we already started with the ionization processes right in the ionization process there are four types are there which are those one it is ionization by collision and the second one is photo ionization process and third one is secondary ionization processes and third one fourth one is electron attachment process okay in the previous session we have already discussed on the ionization by collision as well as the photo ionization right so in today's session we'll have on these two topics okay okay let us start with the session now here the secondary ionization processes secondary ionization process means by making use of the secondary electrons secondary ionization processes by which secondary electrons are going to be produced so this i already discussed in the previous session where this diagram it is very important so this is the two electrode system it is there one it is anode and this is the cathode the difference between uh, the so there is a small distance between these two electrode and and this is filled with what this gas separation or the distance between these two electrodes it is covered with the gaseous dielectric medium is it right so when we supply the voltage when we apply the low voltage what will happen low amount of the current will flow between these two electrode in that case the amount of the current which is flowing between these two electrode if it is low means there is no any Uh, effect on this insulating media nothing but gaseous media present between these two electrodes if you apply the high voltage then huge amount of the current if the applied voltage is high means obviously the amount of the current flowing between these two electrode will be high itself due to the flowing of the high electric current between these two electrodes then what will happen the insulating media nothing but that is gaseous media for example what we had considered air it is going to be acts like a perfect insulator between these two electrodes okay when the due to this increased amount of the current the insulating media present between these two electrode gets a breakdown getting my point so that is why the various phenomena nothing but a conduction phenomena and the breakdown phenomena what we observed on the basis of what basis of the it will be depends upon the applied voltage itself getting my point i hope this is getting, getting all of you when we apply the voltage suppose electrons are going to be start charged particles are going to be starts moving here these electrons are going to be collide with the neutral gaseous mo molecules or the atoms so that i will represent it with the help of the equation here itself so what i told here whenever we apply the voltage the charged particles nothing but the electrons start so moving from cathode to the anode before reaching to the anode it will collides with what here the neutral gaseous molecule so electrons plus nothing but colliding with the atom itself which atom that is gaseous atom this will give the result of what ionization by collision process we have discussed right so it will give the some primary electrons plus positive ion and the secondary electrons are going to be produced here keep it in mind when were you give the voltage to this two electrode system the electron starts moving from this cathode to the anode before reaching to this anode these electrons are going to be collides with the neutral gaseous atom or the molecules present between these two electrodes getting my point that is only we have represented with the help of the equation here this is the electron plus this is what gaseous atom or the molecule this will give what this will give the primary electrons plus positive ion a plus represents what it is positive ion plus along with the some secondary electrons are released these secondary electrons again collide with the secondary electrons again collide with the neutral gaseous molecules and it will produce the some primary atoms primary electrons plus positive ion again some electrons are going to be produces so this will this process will be in a cyclical manner itself so getting my point 
so so now what we are discussing now secondary ionization processes means we are making use of these secondary electrons as well as the positive ion what we got from the which process ionization by collusion and one more process that is by the photo ionization process okay so this secondary ionization processes are going to be divided into three types itself you how the electron it is going to be emitted so the first one is electron emission due to what positive ion impact due to the effect of the positive ion which is incident on the cathode electrons are going to be gets emitted how it will how it is going to emit that you'll study later so second one is electron emission due to photons and third one is electron emission due to the metastable and the neutral atoms keep it in mind this is very important from exam point of view the secondary ionization processes means there are three types are there which are those one it is electron emission due to positive ion impact and the second one is electron emission due to photons and third one is electron emission due to metastable and the neutral atoms okay let me start with the first one the first one which one is there electron emission due to positive ion impact first you should be clear with from where we will get the positive ions just now i have discussed on the ionization by collision process during the collision process only as a result we got positive ions here these positive ions only we are using and electrons we are going to emit from the cathode itself how it is going to be done means see here the first basically the positive ions which are formed due to the which processes one is ionization by collision process or with the help of what photo ionization get my point so this name only indicates that this ion is positively charged then from where how it will travel we know that cathode it is nothing but negatively charged anode is positively charged when we impact when we impact the positive ion on this system means electrode system means these positive ions either it will move towards cathode or the anode obviously right the positive means it will obviously travel towards the cathode because cathode is negatively charged is it right so opposite charges attract each other due to the impact of positive ions these positive ions are going to be travel towards the cathode right because that is positively charged cathode is negatively charged because opposite charges are going to be attract each other getting my point the first thing you need to keep it in mind the positive ions are going to be how they are going to be formed mainly because of the two processes which are those one it is ionization by collision or another one is photo ionization process from these two processes we will get the positive ions and and next what i told here these ions are being positively charged and then uh, and then obviously they will be travel towards the cathode is it right so then a positive ion a positive ion which is approaching to the cathode so cathode it is nothing but the metallic cathode so usually the metal uh, metallic element of this ca uh, cathode will be either it is a nickel or the cadmium so so many examples for this uh, metallic what we are going to be used it as a electrode here okay a positive ion which is approaching to this metallic cathode it will cause emission of the electron from the cathode how it will cause the emission of electron electrons from the cathode means by giving up its kinetic energy on the impact of the positive ions so what i told here the positive ion impact it is going to be done on the cathode because the ion is positively charged and it will move towards the cathode due to the effect of this positive ion the electron it is going to be gets emitted from this cathode get my point so how it will emit the the positive ion it will give up its kinetic energy on the impact on the cathode itself getting my point so see here so if the total energy of this positive ion 
the positive ion whatever it is going to be impacting on this cathode the energy of that particular positive ion it will be the sum of what its kinetic energy as well as the ionization energy getting my point so the total energy of positive ion which is the sum of what kinetic energy as well as the ionization energy and very important thing is here the energy this energy should be greater than the twice of the work function of the metal metal means that is metallic cathode so getting my point cathode cathode it is made up of a metal which metal nickel we can use cadmium we can use any any examples okay see here so the total energy of that positive ion should be greater than the twice the work function of the metal so what is the meaning of this work function then is it right work function it is nothing but work function of a metal it is nothing but the minimum energy required to extract one electron from the metal getting my point extracting the the uh, nothing but it is the work function it is nothing but the minimum amount of energy that is required to extract one electron from the metal getting my point so obviously if if the total energy of the positive ion if it is more than the work function of the metal means then only electrons are going to be gets emitted from the cathode getting my point <clears throat> so next the probability of this process the probability in the sense that the emission of the electrons from the cathode which is going to be measured as a symbol psi suffix i itself i it is represents i represents the ionization getting my point which is going to be call it as what townsend's secondary ionization coefficient due to what positive ions it is very important representation that you keep it in a mind while solving the derivation it is very important psi i represents what it is the townsend's secondary ionization coefficient due to the impact of what positive ion i hope this is clear to all of you <coughs> shall we move on to next one okay so electron emission due to photons okay second one see here electron emission the emission of the electron from the cathode it is going to be occurs due to the impact of what photons photons means what it is nothing but the packet of energy or the light energy why we are incidenting uv light on the cathode we can observe in this diagram so on the cathode we are incidenting ultraviolet radiation here for what purpose what purpose we are incidenting ultraviolet radiation on this cathode only because of the in order to emit the electrons from this metallic cathode keep it in mind getting so see uh, let me uh, okay here so next what i told here the emission of the electrons it is going to be done due to the impact of the photons or nothing but what Uh, we are incidenting ultraviolet radiation on the cathode what purpose we are incidenting means in order to emit the electrons from the metallic cathode the mef examples for this metallic cathode it is either it is nickel metal or the cadmium etc okay so we can say the to cause an emission or the to cause an electron from the metal to emit the electron from the metal means it should be given enough energy is it right without energy the emission of the electron from cathode it is not possible that is why we are which energy we are providing that is light energy getting my point what purpose we are providing means to overcome the surface potential barrier of the cathode itself getting my point the energy can also be supplied in the form of the photon nothing but the packet of energy which light energy we are using here ultraviolet light which should be having the suitable frequency getting my point so it will emits the electrons from the cathode electron emission from the metal surface occurs only when with this condition has to be satisfied so what is that condition h nu should be greater than equal to uh, greater than equal to psi itself h it is nothing but what that is the planck's constant what is the planck's constant value 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 this nu is nothing but what it is this is the 
frequency of incident light getting my point so what this symbol represents this is the work function of the metallic electrode what is work function i told work function means it is nothing but the minimum amount of energy required to extract one electron from the metal keep it in mind so this is the work function of the metallic electrode and the frequency nu from this equation i can write the we can reframe this equation from this equation i can write the <clears throat> i can get the formula for the frequency nu is equal to psi divided by h it is where it is going to be call it as what threshold frequency we know the value for for a clean nickel surface for a uh, surface means the metallic cathode surface for example which metal we had consider nickel if it is if you are going to use as a metallic cathode electrode means which will be having the work function value of how much that is 4.5 electron volt itself then you can easily calculate now threshold frequency right so how so what is the value of this work function 4.5 electron volt and this is h already standard planck's constant value we know that is how much 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 after calculating we will get the threshold frequency as the 2755 angstrom unit getting my point so next thing here if the incident radiation which radiation we are incidenting on the cathode that is ultraviolet radiation so this incident radiation has a greater frequency if it has the greater frequency than this threshold frequency means then what will happen then the excess of energy if the frequency incident light radiation if the frequency if it is exceeding the threshold frequency means the excess amount of the energy will go uh, like what the excess amount of the energy some part of that energy will be like a kinetic energy of the emitted electron and some part of the energy it will heat the surface of the electrode keep it in mind getting my point so that is why this work function value should be typically it should be lesser few electrons holds itself getting my point so this is all about what electron emission due to photons nothing is there in this just only the how the electron it is going to be emitted from this cathode by incidenting on this light energy or it is also going to be called it as a photon itself getting so this is all about electron emission due to photons and third process which is there electron emission due to <clears throat> metastable and the neutral atoms okay first we try to understand what is metastable atom and what is neutral atom okay the first thing is here a metastable atom or the molecule it is nothing but an is an excited particle excited particle means what it is nothing but <clears throat> the atom it is nothing but they are the higher levels of energy getting my point excited particle so whose lifetime is very large compared to the lifetime of a ordinary particles what is the lifetime of this metastable atom that is 10 raised to minus 3 seconds when we compare with the ordinary particles that will be having 10 raised to minus 8 seconds keep it in a mind metastable atom it is nothing but it is an excited particle excited particle means it's already reached it's a higher energy level and what is the lifetime of this metastable atom means it is very large compared with what ordinary ordinary energy particles so how much lifetime it is having that is 10 raised to minus 3 seconds okay so this is going to be called it as a metastable atom so using this metastable atom what electron emission process it is going to be done at the cathode itself getting my point so electrons can be ejected from the metal surface which metal surface either it is nickel or it is the cadmium or <clears throat> any kind of a metal surface of the electrodes how by the impact of what excited or the metastable atoms provided that what we have to provide it the total energy is sufficient to overcome the work function work function means it is the minimum amount of the energy required to extract one electron from the metal okay 
i hope this is clear to all of you instead of the instead of incidenting on the light energy or instead of making use of the positive ions what we are using here metastable atoms are in this diagram instead of this light energy we are incidenting the metastable atoms on this cathode right so e metastable atom means what it is it is also a excited particle nothing but it's already reached its higher energy levels getting my point it will due to the impact of the metastable atoms on this cathode it will emit the electrons getting my point so that is the, the that is the key concept key concept it is nothing but here the electron emission how it is going to be done with the help of the impact of the positive ions or with the help of the impact of the light energy or with the help of the metastable atoms which are going to be for, which are going to be providing to the cathode itself is it right so that is all about metastable atoms then what about neutral atoms neutral means what it is where energy energy level of these atoms will be at a ground level itself obviously right so the metastable means it's already reached its higher energy levels neutral atoms means so this is the ground state nothing but levels of energy it is there so higher energy levels lower energy levels is it right so neutral atoms in the sense that it is the ground state which also gives rise to secondary electron emission only when if their kinetic energy is very high that is of what 1000 electron volts it is approximately it should be equal to 1000 electron volts but is comparatively when we compare with the metastable atoms and all the electron emission process emission of the electrons will be considerably less when we impact of the neutral atoms on the cathode surface getting my point so this is all about secondary ionization processes i hope this is clear to all of you next we'll move on to very important process one more that is what electron attachment process what is this attachment process is it right so we already discussed here is it right what is that collision process collision process means what this when we supply when we give the voltage here the electrons nothing but charged particles are going to be moving towards here is it right so these charged energetic charged particles or the electrons are going to be collide with the neutral gaseous molecules here is it right so during that collision process in which electrons what will happen this electrons during that collision process electrons may get attached to this neutral gaseous molecules getting my point then what will happen either it will produce the positive ion or negative ion anybody can tell here so see here when this electrons electron means it is negatively charged right when it is electrons colliding with this neutral gaseous molecules means sometimes during these kinds of a collision this electron may get attached to this neutral gaseous molecule electron it is obviously negatively charged then obviously what will form Do, uh, if it is going to be gets attached means obviously negative ions are going to be formed during which process attachment collision process keep it in mind nothing is there in this during the collision process the electron may gets attached to the neutral gaseous molecules and it will form the negative ions that is going to be called it as what attachment collisions okay so this electron attachment process it mainly depends upon what uh, the first one is energy of that particular electron so if it is lower energy means it will not get attached if the electron energy if it is more means it will get attached to the neutral gaseous molecule right so second one is it will depends upon the nature of the gas nature of the gas means between these two electrode gaseous medium or the dielectric medium will be present over here so it will depends upon the gas means where are we have a, we are having the all electrical insulating gases like a o2 oxygen carbon dioxide it is there cl2 chlorine f2 and sulfur hexafluoride sf6 so it will also depends upon the nature of the gas itself getting my point electron attachment process it will depends upon the two factors which are those one it is energy of the electron and the second one is nature of the gaseous media present between these two electrodes getting an electron attachment process how it is going to be represented with the help of the symbolically 
or, or uh, what symbolically how it will represent means see here atom which atom that is gaseous neutral gaseous atom or the molecule when it is going to be colliding with the electron here then what it will uh, this is nothing but the kinetic energy of this electron so getting my point how, what it will produce obviously this electron get attached to the neutral gaseous atom and it will give the negative ion negative ion along with some energy kinetic energy plus electron affinity it is also going to be produces getting my point so this is all about electron attachment process if somebody has asked means what is electron attachment process means it is very simple there it is the during the collision process collision process where it will takes place here the electrons it will collide with the neutral gaseous molecule during that collision process there may be a chances of electrons gets attached to this neutral molecules and it will give the negative ions so this process it is going to be called as what attachment collisions this will be depends upon the two factors which are those one it is the energy of the electron and the second one is the nature of the gas itself okay i hope this is these are the concepts what we have discussed i hope this is clear to all of you okay thank you